maybe like give her a big pocket. All right, so I think you already noticed from my jagged lines, there is no, there's no straight lines. There's none of these. You should give her a hand pocket. Oh, I can give her that. I'll give her a hand pocket here. And you know what? I'll change this one. Two point, two point. It's a little low, but you know, I don't have the strength right now. <laughs> I just don't. Okay, so there you go. So then we go here. Guess what? It's about the same principle as... I'm gonna, I'm gonna it's about the same principle a sequence. You have your highs and you have your lows. We always start with the medium tone, correct? Not too dark, not too low. And this is when a brush comes in really handy, okay? I like Copic for that reason. And if you just go, first you do the edge, but you're not filling in straight. No straight, no, no straight. It's like a brush, you see that? brush okay so you go from here and out and you just go mm. and you build it like that in, so out, up, in. no but look how expensive she looks already yeah. but I'm not outlining anything yet guys okay I'm you barely outline if your outline is more like a shadow outline similar to sequence And I'm just layering. You see how much I'm layering the, the markers? And you, you know what helps? Is also looking at pictures of her. Like right now, this is a, what do you call it? You know, once around the hoodie. Mm -hmm. Forgot the name of that one specifically. But don't worry, we can make sure that it's, you know, full fur, whatever. <laughs> so we have our light and then we go in, same thing. We're not using straight strokes we are trying to do brush strokes okay get used to it you have to practice on one side of the notepad but same thing just like sequence we're not doing very dark strokes everywhere because i think you've noticed it just looks bad you have to be very careful so you go maybe strategically is hair and remember how we render hair we don't put black everywhere, it's like highlights. Think about fur with highlights. And you're going with the grain that I decided to do. And why is this two different ways? It could, it could be piece in the center back, so that's fine. Already, pretty good. This is also when you decide to do your markers. I mean, no, sorry, color pencils. And you just give me highlights. Give me highlights because not every fur, like real fur, no offense to real fur, but doesn't have, it's never gonna be one color. Mm -mm. It's always gonna be With the very, exactly, very plush, very goodness, that kind of stuff. Exactly. So then, mm -hmm. exactly. So then, what we're gonna do then after that is we have a brown. And then we just put like little pieces of brown coming out. Look at that. It may it's burgundy, but whatever. We're gonna pretend. Look what that difference is already. It's looking very luscious, very expensive for now. How do we do a chinchilla? Let's do that. <laughs> well, is it chinchilla or is it mink? Sorry, it's mink. We take, where's my marker? Oh, it's right there. Thank you, thank you. So the same way, we just go striping. But uh, mink is never gonna be straight line too. The seams are not straight. I'm just adding this so you can, when I scan it, you guys see. It's always like sequence, which is wavy. No, yes, wavy. So you're just gonna create, you see that already? Volume. And 
and you're just gonna go like that. Same way, guys. Volume. Nothing, and make sure it's jagged. So you understand that those type of coats. You know why they have those little jaggers because they they seam the first together seamlessly and they actually match the colors so it looks like a one it's one animal in reality it's like it takes a lot of, uh, a lot so they match it it's someone's job to make sure they match all of that okay and you can just do this and same thing you leave little white spaces for like other colors because not everything's gonna be in that color and you create those lines with your marker already you can see that how much the difference is. You're creating volume. You're creating that type of volume that is this one. Yeah, this is good. And you're creating, you're putting little notes. Not everything is gonna be that color. Okay. And same thing, you use your, where's my brown? Is it had a brown? Where's my brown? Oh, here it is. Same thing. You do circle of motions if you want to give me shadows. You're creating shadows in between those layers. You see that already? Separating it. And then you build, 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 and that's it. And maybe we want, oh, what's that name of that? What's the name of that? I forgot the name of that. The one that royalty wears is Murfer. Oh, it's Ben Murfer or the white with the black spots. Forgot. But it's okay. So then, if you just wanna do white fur, you use your gray. And I'm gonna do the, so same thing. But make sure you everything's going down. Most of the time it's gonna go down, correct? Mm -hmm. So then, maybe I want that fur from the royalty situation, which I forgot the name of. It's called Mer, I forgot. It's a very specific. You you recognize it when I do this. You see that? I forgot the name of it. The one that has like little black spot. Even in my shoulders, if you see nothing, it's the font. Everything, it's very very light. But if you saw it, it does look like fur. You see that? It does look like fur. And same thing, we might not use always the light gray, but we need to make sure that we give volume. So how do we do give volume? We might use, oh, do we have a light right here? Hmm. I don't think I do. Mm, no, I don't. Perfect. So what we do is just, maybe it's an off-white. Very light. It's very expensive for us. Uh -huh. Very subtle. Whatever I did this year, I'm going to do it in color. So if, let's just say you want neon green, which I don't know if they have, but we're going to do a green one. It's the same way. Maybe this is faux fur, and that's okay. We leave. Nothing is straight line. I mean, uh, it's just, it is, I'm sorry, nothing's a straight line. Everything's built, okay? And then we go here. You see how I'm not, I'm not going, whatever techniques we show you how to do satin, straight, needs to be even, no, not in fur. Everything needs to have a volume. It's all about volume. Think of like Versace, like all those colorful furs, you know? Like why not? Why can't you just 
not, why can you not do Versace? Remember, we're rendering. We don't need to do everything. We don't, there's no price point. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me, wait, maybe a store's in Italy. It does exist. It's just expensive. <laughs> but you see that already? Where? In color. Nice. That looks so much pretty. Like that. You see it? Like it's, but you can see the different volumes. Yeah. And I did put some, the left different. some white spaces because remember it's hair, so it has shine to it too. Yeah. So there is some, um, you see the difference between the weight. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. You can see there's going to be folds, mm -hmm. but if I were to do everything just stripes, then it just looks like doesn't, you're taking out the volume. So that's the idea about fur. Okay. So same thing. So this one is similar to the leather source that we make the light source happen because if we don't, then it looks really flat. I think you guys understood that too with a lot of the leather rendering. Sometimes in real life, you're not gonna see such streaks unless someone puts a really big light bulb on top of you. But if you don't render it like that, then no one's gonna get it. Same thing here. Think of it as you have the biggest, biggest beauty light <laughs> ring thing that you bought in really? Amazon. Yeah. And that's what you're using. <laughs> okay? Blinding. That's what it is. It's not sunset lighting, no. It's blinding ring light. <laughs> okay? And that's the best way for you to think of it. It's not like, because if you, you have, to, and I also think the other part about this class is that you've noticed with rendering, you have to be very, not subtle. It can be subtle. You need to take it all the way to the max, correct? So that's why you needed to think. Explore fur, guys. I have other good news for you. I'm not gonna give you homework this week. I need you to work on that final. Okay. You can do it. I'm done.